Hello YouTubers, thought I'd make a quick video about a Veeam backup and replication error that I saw the other day. It's a pretty simple fix, but it seems like a lot of people are having this issue. So basically when you hit connect, it thinks about it for a little while, thinks about it, still thinking, still thinking, and you get this message saying failed to connect. So basically, there's probably three main causes. One is that your backup service is not actually running. So you want to go to your start menu and run services.msc. Open that up and you want to look for your Veeam services. So Veeam backup service, Veeam broker service, all these ones that are set as automatic, they should all have started up. So I'm just going to refresh to check and my Veeam backup is actually stopped. So you start that one up. Let's give it a sec. And then when you connect, you should be fine. If you find you're still not connecting, you're still getting connection refused, this could mean that your, that your SQL settings are not correct or your SQL server that hosts the database for Veeam is offline. So you can check your SQL while we're here in services, just type SQL and you'll be looking at a instance of Veeam or if you install it into your current instance you have to make sure that one is started. So Veeam, make sure that's started. That's the second step. The third step is to check your registry setting to see where Veeam is looking at the SQL Server. So you open up regedit.exe from start menu, open that up, go to hkey local machine, go to software, Go to Veeam. So we're going to look in Veeam and Veeam backup and replication. Here we want to check your SQL database name, SQL instance name. Are they correct? Are they looking at the right place? SQL server name. And these will most likely be blank if you're using Windows authentication. If not, they should be filled in. If even after that you find that it's still not working, you want to open command prompt as administrator and we want to just check if the port that Veeam is trying to use 9392 is in fact open listening or being used by another application so you open up your command prompt you type in net stat dash a dash b dash o and usually I just export that out to a text file so I can actually view it so c temp and we'll just call it veeam.txt. Hit that, so that should be done. Open up that location, veeam. Look for that file, veeam.txt, open that up. And we want to look for 9392. Search for that, and we'll see a PID, which is like an identification number for that port, so 19492 is the PID. So we're going to go to Task Manager, Services, sorry, not Services, actually, yes, Services, and we're going to look for that PID 19492. 19492, Veeam Backup Service. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Check all those things. Your registry, your SQL instance is started. Your port's not being used by anything else. If it is, you can always change the port or make sure that the port's not being used by that other application. And yeah, that should solve your problems. I hope that helped. All right, bye.